Hi guys, so this is a little introduction to a small plugin for Unity that I've written in the last couple of hours for Hot Twin. It's basically the same thing as the iTween Visual Path Editor. So both iTween and Hot Twin um, allow you to create paths. And iTween has this little tool that you can use to you know highlight the path that the tween will take which is something that hot tween is missing so I've basically hijacked the hot tween path um, calculator classes and just butchered them to create a hot tween path visual highlighter so it works um, by just adding a component to your game object, which I've called Hopeth or Hopeth, which is not at all suggestive. Now um, I can create a sphere just to show you how it works at the component. Then the path in Hot Tween is always sort of stuck to the ob object. Um, so we can move around the nodes using the inspector or we can grab the handles and just move those around and you can add new nodes by clicking those plus buttons so if you click the plus between node 0 and node 1 a new node will be added um, just between those two You can swap nodes, so if, if I click swap between node 1 and 2, it will swap node 1 and 2. Now I can swap 0 and 1, no actually not, ah yes I can. So you can change your path around using this. You can set it to relative, now it's glued to the sphere, whereas if I unclick relative I can move the sphere around but the path stays fixed. I can close the path and change the type to linear and every operation supports undo. So you can see it says undo HP path change point. Uh, I can also move the handles around in the uh, scene and undo that as well. And finally you can, I'm just gonna delete that, you can select multiple objects and edit those as well. So I could grab handle 1 and move this around or I could change the Y value um, in the inspector which will change it for both first nodes which is kind of stupid but you know you can do it. Um, finally what you're gonna use this multi-object editing for is probably to just enable closed paths for all objects or um, add new nodes on both. And what else? Yes, when you click play, the um, preview path, the path preview isn't showing, but you can select the object and the inspector then turns on the native gizmo preview from Hot Tween and when you unselect the object again it restores the hot tween show gizmo boolean to whatever it was before. In the code you can access this by accessing the component hopeath just like you would any other component. Then you can call make plug vector free, which will create a vector free plug, 
with relative closed type and the node array set already you could then just go ahead and um, edit this further by setting orient to path path or something like that and if you just want the vector array you could simply get that using the points property of the whole path so if you want to make your own um, vector 3d plug then you could just throw in these these points as a vector array and work with that now the editor code and the code for drawing the preview is kind of spaghetti code I mean I just threw this together because I wanted it to work and I don't think there are any bugs but I've just you know played around with those little cubes in the demo so if you find anything wrong with this just let me know so that's basically it Thanks for watching.